All week, Greg told us about that cold front coming and right now it is moving through. This entire event is put on completely by volunteers with the Junior League. We're not sure what is in the air right now. As we're looking, there is dark black smoke that continues ever since that second explosion that happened this afternoon. Here's the thing, all the money raised from the ticket sales at the door stays right here in Southeast Texas. Greg, the action isn't over tonight. You can still get inside the gates in downtown Boma and that is where we find KFDM's Angel San Juan and Angel I have heard that you are very excited for tomorrow night's festivities. Ice Ice Baby, huh? <laughs> no. Yes. yes. Greg Gostick oh, is Greg here. We are excited about the weekend. It, it will feel like ice when Vanilla Ice performs. Hi friends, I'm Tiffany Murphy. While we're home social distancing, hoping to flatten the COVID-19 curve, there's a lot of good happening in our community. So let's talk about that. Are you missing the theater? Beaumont community players helping the community stay connected while social distancing using the covered portion of their parking lot every weekday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Up to three people at least six feet apart can create beautiful works of chalk art. Masks and gloves will be provided. It's called Mandala of Chalk and Mandala literally translated means circles. Federal regulations require every company to know what is inside those tanks. Just after two this afternoon, I spoke with the production manager with TPC and the public information officer for Jefferson County, and they tell me they started compiling that data last night after I asked again. Keeping an eye on the roads around Jefferson County tonight at this hour, we know that Highway 73 in Jefferson County between Highway 69 and Winnie is still holding water. Highway 105 is closed at Tram Road due to high water as well, and Highway 90 still has water in multiple locations. Some of it is passable. Local emergency management agencies, though, asking you, please don't call 911 unless it is an emergency. Of course, you can check on the latest road closures. All you have to do is go to this website on your screen, drivetexas.org. Well, the city of Beaumont opening up the Civic Center in downtown Beaumont to house evacuees and those rescued from homes. but. The numbers became so overwhelming, the city was forced to go to plan B. It is 8 o'clock. They are just wrapping up at the Holiday Inn where the Emergency Operations Center has been located tonight. We heard from TPC officials along with Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick. We do know tonight there is still an imminent danger at this plant as firefighters and first responders are now working in a defensive position as night has fallen. That makes this fire even more difficult to fight. We are in about hour nine of that massive manhunt. So let me paint the picture for you. You guys were talking about that gas station on the corner of 105 and 326 in Sour Lake. So we are right in the middle developing tonight. A man charged with attacking and seriously injuring a Sour Lake police officer is in jail on on bonds totaling several million dollars. This was the scene Monday night at the corner of 326 and 105 in Sour Lake. Sheriff Mark Davis says this man, a 45 year old transient from Kentucky, was panhandling. The clerk at this Valero service station asked him to leave, but he refused. 59 year old Sour Lake officer William McKeon responded just before 830 Monday night. It was an immediate as soon as the officer got out of his patrol car, the suspect uh, came and confronted him and they went to the ground and started fighting. Brutally slamming Officer McKeon's head into the brick wall at the store before grabbing the officer's pistol and threatening to shoot those in and around the convenience store. <laughs> Investigators say the suspect stole his police SUV and sped north on 326. For nearly 10 hours, multiple law enforcement agencies searched the densely wooded area by air with tracking dogs and by vehicle. The fact that he was in town appeared to be a transient. Uh, there was some allegations of maybe panhandling, uh, begging or asking for a handout or assistance. They're breaking the case at daylight when the suspect left the camouflage of the woods and tried to cross 326, not far from where he abandoned the police cruiser.